Hey there. In this video, we're going to walk through understanding the value of the bill network. And then we'll learn how to leverage the bill V3 API to search for a vendor and connect with the vendor in the bill network. We begin by talking about vendors within bill. Let's say, for example, you run a music school and we want to set up monthly payments to an equipment supplier with bill. This supplier would be a vendor that you pay for the goods and services they provide. So when vendors and customers are connected within the bill network, bill automatically enables electronic payments between them. In addition, connected vendors receive payments in their preferred payment method. That would include things like ACH, virtual card, and if they prefer a manual check. To pay the vendor for your music school, we simply connect with the vendor in the bill network and skip all the manual steps of entering in the required vendor information. In the rest of this video, we'll learn how to utilize the API to connect with vendors in the bill network. To connect with the test vendor in Sandbox, we first complete a one-time setup to make a vendor available in the bill network to test. After this setup, we will search for and connect with this test vendor in the API. Note that in production, the entire network of vendors and customers are available for us to search and connect with the API. So we'll click add vendor and enter test vendor account information. For this example, we'll create a vendor called Happy Music Supplies. Make sure to add a valid email address because Bill does send an invitation to that provided email address. When we receive the invitation, be sure to accept the invitation and complete the test vendor setup so we can locate this vendor within the network. You can also visit developer.bill.com for the test information that you can enter in directly here on this invite setup to complete it. And feel free to hit pause here to complete this step before moving forward. When we complete this one-time setup, we're going to see a landing page for the test vendor in the Bill web application. Happy Music Supplies at that point is now a vendor available in the Bill network. So now what we'll do is we'll search for and connect with this vendor via API. And we begin that process by signing into our developer account in Postman. And that will require session ID for the other calls. So we'll get that sent over, session ID is created. We then create the scaffolding for the vendor we want to connect with. We just set the name and the address information. In the response, the vendor scaffolding is available. And note that there is no payment information available in the response. Next, we will search for the vendor in the bill network. This is the same vendor or test vendor that we added to the network in the previous step. And we'll use get v3 network to search for the vendor and set the name query parameter as the vendor name. In the response, the vendor payment network ID or PNI is available. This ID uniquely identifies the vendor in the network. In the final step, we invite the network vendor to connect. This endpoint requires the vendor ID path parameter. We set the vendor ID as the ID of the vendor we created in the organization. In the request body, we set the network ID as the PNI or payment network ID of the vendor we found from the network search. When we get a 200 OK response, this means that the network connection is successful and we can immediately pay this vendor electronically. And now to understand the power of this connection, we can now get the details of the vendor in our organization. And we're able to see additional information in the response, including payment information, in addition to the vendor network status is set as connected or enrolled. And that's it. We have successfully connected with the vendor in the bill network. We can now add more vendors in our organization and connect with the network vendors. Note that the API flow for setting up a connected customer on the receivable side is also the same. For more information, visit the Bill Developer documentation at developer.bill.com. Thank you.